Shadows clung to Samantha Ray as she slipped through the dimly lit alley, her footsteps echoing off the damp cobblestones. The crisp night air stung her cheeks, but it was the ache in her chest that made each breath feel like shattered glass. Ten years. Ten long, lonely years since that fateful night in Paris, when her world had crumbled like a house of cards. When the man she loved more than life itself had plunged a dagger into her heart and left her bleeding out on the banks of the sign. Liam Novak. Just the thought of his name sent a shudder rippling through her, a heady cocktail of anger and longing. His face swam before her mind's eye, chiseled jaw, piercing blue eyes that saw straight to her battered soul. Eyes that had once looked at her with such tenderness, such devotion, right before they turned to ice as he leveled a gun at her head. Samantha squeezed her eyes shut, willing the memory away. She couldn't afford to be haunted by the past. Not now, when she was so close to the truth. A truth that had led her here. To the shadow-drenched streets of Berlin, chasing whispers of a ghost. Whispers that Liam, her Liam, was alive. That he had risen from the ashes of betrayal to become one of the most notorious arms dealers in the world. And now, after a decade of mourning the man he used to be, of honing her body and mind into the perfect weapon, Samantha had her orders. Infiltrate his organization. Get close to him. And take him down once and for all. By any means necessary. Gritting her teeth, Samantha rounded the corner, the thrum of adrenaline drowning out the screaming of her shattered heart. The pulsing beat of a nightclub echoed from the building ahead, neon lights throwing lurid shadows on the rain-slicked street. Liam's club. His lair. The first stop on a twisted journey into the heart of darkness. Stealing herself, Samantha reached for the door handle, the icy metal biting into her palm. She knew the moment she crossed this threshold, there would be no turning back. She would have to become someone else, something else, burying Samantha beneath layers of deceit until only the mission remained. A mission that could save countless lives or destroy what was left of her own. With a shaky breath, she stepped inside, the throb of the base vibrating in her bones. Smoke and sweat hung heavy in the air as bodies writhed on the dance floor, lost to the pounding rhythm. Samantha scanned the crowd, every nerve buzzing with anticipation. Her gaze caught on a shock of dark hair at the bar, broad shoulders straining against a tailored suit jacket. Her heart stalled. It was him. Liam Dot. Older, harder, but with the same magnetism that had drawn her to him all those years ago. The same lethal grace like a jaguar poised to strike. As if sensing her presence, he turned, crystalline eyes locking onto hers across the pulsing crowd. Time seemed to freeze, the rest of the world fading to nothing more than white noise as they stared at each other, a thousand unspoken words hanging in the charged space between them. Emotions flashed across his chiseled face, shock, rage, a bone-deep pain that echoed her own. Then slowly, his mouth curved into a knowing smirk, a challenge and an invitation all at once. Samantha swallowed hard, forcing oxygen into her lungs. The game was on, and this time she wouldn't be the one left broken and bleeding. Samantha wove through the writhing bodies, the pounding bass reverberating in her chest like a second heartbeat. The air was thick with the scent of sweat, alcohol, and something darker, more primal. Desire, edged with desperation. Just like the desire coursing through her veins as she locked eyes with Liam, his smirk a silent dare. A dare to cross the chasm of lies and betrayal that yawned between them, to confront the past they both tried so hard to bury. But Samantha had spent the last decade perfecting the art of the mask, of hiding her true self behind a facade of cold indifference. She wouldn't let him see how deeply he'd scarred her, how the memory of his touch still haunted her dreams. Squaring her shoulders, she sidled up to the bar, her black dress clinging to every curve like a second skin. Vodka martini, she told the bartender, her voice a husky purr. Dirty. Make that too. His voice, rich and smooth as aged whiskey, sent a shiver down her spine. Slowly, Samantha turned, arching a brow as Liam slid onto the stool beside her. 
This close, she could see the faint lines around his eyes, the hardness in his jaw. The years had only owned his ruthless edge, sharpening him into something lethal and undeniably alluring. Well, well, he murmured, those piercing blue eyes raking over her. Samantha Ray, I'd say it's a pleasure, but we both know that's a lie. She met his gaze unflinchingly, even as her traitorous heart stumbled. Liam Dot, you look good for a dead man. His mouth twitched, but there was no humor in it. Death didn't take. He leaned in, his breath hot against her ear. But then you always did have terrible aim. The memory slammed into her, rain lashing her face, the sane churning below, the crack of a gunshot as she pulled the trigger. The bloom of crimson on his chest as he staggered back, eyes wide with shock and something far more devastating. Betrayal, Dadionin. The same betrayal that had shattered her own heart a moment before. Samantha swallowed hard, shoving the image away. She couldn't let him get under her skin. Not again. Seems we both have a habit of coming back from the grave. And yet, here we are. Liam's fingers brushed her thigh, a ghost of a touch that set her nerves aflame. Two phantoms, chasing each other through the shadows. Tell me, Samantha, was it worth it? Selling your soul to the CIA, becoming their perfect little weapon? Anger flashed through her, white hot and blinding. As if he had any right to judge her, after everything he'd done. You're one to talk, she hissed. An arms dealer? Really? What happened to the man who wanted to save the world? Something flickered in his eyes, a fracture in the icy facade. That man died on the banks of the Seine. When the woman he loved put a bullet in his heart. Samantha recoiled as if he'd slapped her. The raw anguish in his voice, the jagged edges of it, cut her to the bone. Liam, I... But he was already rising, tossing a few bills on the bar. Enjoy the drink, Samantha. Consider it a parting gift. Panic clawed at her throat as he turned to leave. She couldn't let him walk away. Not again. Not when she was so close to the truth. Wait. He paused, his broad shoulders taut with tension. What do you want from me, Samantha? The question hung between them, weighted with a decade of unspoken regrets. What did she want? Absolution? Revenge? Or something far more terrifying? A second chance? Answers, she managed, her voice barely above a whisper. I want the truth, Liam. About Paris. Uh, us. For a long moment he stood motionless, the muscles of his jaw working. Then, slowly, he turned back to face her, his expression unreadable. The truth, he echoed hollowly. And what makes you think you deserve it, after all this time? Samantha lifted her chin, forcing herself to meet that penetrating gaze. Because I never stopped loving you. Even when I hated you. Even when I tried to convince myself that what we had was a lie. Her voice cracked, the confession ripping itself free from some hidden place inside her. I've spent the last ten years running from the truth, Liam. I'm done running. Something shifted in his eyes, a flicker of the man he used to be. The man who had held her in the darkness, who had kissed her tears away and promised her forever. Then it was gone, shuttered behind an impenetrable wall once more. Meet me tomorrow, he said roughly. No, no. The tear garden. There's a bridge over the canal. A ghost of a smile touched his lips, bitter and mocking. For old time's sake. With that, he melted into the crowd, leaving Samantha alone with her racing thoughts and the shards of her broken heart. She tossed back the rest of her drink, the vodka burning a path to her hollow stomach. Tomorrow. After ten years of secrets and lies, she would finally have her answers. No matter the cost. The night air was cool against her flushed skin as Samantha emerged from the club, the muted thump of the music fading behind her. She tilted her head back, letting the moonlight bathe her face. What was she doing? Chasing shadows, reopening old wounds? Risking everything for a man who had shattered her so completely? There were still days she felt like she'd never be whole again. But beneath the anger, the betrayal, the soul-deep hurt, there was still that flicker. 
That stubborn ember of hope, that maybe, just maybe, the love they'd shared had been real. That it could rise from the ashes, born anew. A fool's hope, perhaps. But it was all she had left. With a shaky breath, Samantha started down the alley, her heels echoing on the damp cobblestones. Tomorrow, she would face her past. Face him. And pray that the truth wouldn't break her all over again. A sudden movement in the shadows wrenched her from her thoughts. Samantha tensed, instincts honed by years of training snapping into focus. She wasn't alone. A figure stepped into the dim light of the street lamp, and her blood turned to ice in her veins. Hello, Samantha. The voice was cold, menacingly calm, achingly familiar. It's been a long time. Strands of silver threaded the dark hair at his temples, lines of grief and hardship etched into the once handsome face. But there was no mistaking those piercing gray eyes, so like her own. Dad, Samantha whispered, the word ash on her tongue. What? What? What are you doing here? Edward Ray smiled, but it held no warmth. Only a cruel, calculating edge that sent a chill down her spine. Is that any way to greet your father? After all these years? He tutted, taking a step closer. I taught you better manners than that, Samantha. She stood her ground, even as every cell in her body screamed to run. This man, this stranger wearing her father's face, he represented everything she'd spent a lifetime trying to escape. The lies, the manipulation, the ruthless ambition that had torn their family apart. You lost the right to call yourself my father the day you walked out on us. She bit out, fists clenched at her sides. The day you chose your precious career over your own wife and daughter. Something dangerous flashed in Edward's eyes, a glimpse of the ugliness beneath the polished exterior. Is that what you think happened? He shook his head, a harsh bark of laughter escaping him. Oh, Samantha, you always were so naive. So quick to believe the best in people, even when they didn't deserve it. Samantha frowned, a trickle of unease working its way down her spine. What are you talking about? The truth, my dear. The truth about why I left. About the real reason your mother drank herself into an early grave. Edward's smile sharpened, a blade honed to draw blood. And at the man you've spent the last decade pining for... I'm... Liam Novak. Dot D. Her heart seized in her chest, a sickening lurch of dread. Liam? What does he have to do with any of this? Everything. Edward closed the distance between them, his presence as suffocating as a shroud. Liam Novak is the reason our family fell apart, Samantha Taw. He's the reason for all of it. And now? His hand shot out, gripping her arm in a vice. Now, he's going to be the reason it ends. Once and for all. Samantha stared at her father, her heart pounding a staccato beat against her ribs. His words echoed in her mind, each one a twisted knife in an already gaping wound. Liam, the reason for her family's destruction? It couldn't be true. It couldn't. You're lying, she whispered, her voice trembling with a volatile mix of anger and fear. Liam would never hurt me like that. He loved me. Edward's grip tightened, his fingers digging into her flesh. Loved you? He scoffed, a cruel twist to his lips. Oh, my poor, deluded daughter. Liam Novak isn't capable of love. He's a monster, a manipulator. And you fell right into his trap. Samantha shook her head, desperate to deny the poison dripping from her father's tongue. But deep down, in the darkest recesses of her heart, a seed of doubt took root. The unexplained absences the whispered phone calls in the dead of night. Had it all been a lie? No, she choked out, hot tears stinging her eyes. No, I don't believe you. Liam was the one good thing in my life. The one person who saw me, really saw me. He wouldn't betray me like that. Edward's expression softened, a mockery of fatherly concern. I didn't want to be the one to tell you this, Samantha. But you deserve the truth. Liam Novak is a CIA asset. He has been for years. The world tilted beneath her feet, a sickening lurch that threatened to send her to her knees. 
What? He was sent to infiltrate my operation to gain my trust. And what better way to do that than to seduce my daughter? Edward's mouth twisted with distaste. It was all a game to him, Samantha. A means to an end. And you were just a pawn in his twisted scheme. A sob tore from her throat, raw and wrenching. It couldn't be true. The tender moments, the whispered promises, the way he'd held her as if she were the most precious thing in his world. It couldn't have all been a lie. But even as she fought against the truth, the pieces began to fall into place with sickening clarity. The way Liam had always evaded questions about his past, the secrets he kept locked away behind those haunted blue eyes, the way he'd vanished without a trace, leaving her shattered and alone. Why are you telling me this now? She whispered, her voice ravaged by grief. After all these years, Edward released her arm, stepping back with a heavy sigh. Because I need your help, Samantha. Liam Novak is close to bringing down everything I've worked for, everything our family has built, and you're the only one who can stop him. Samantha shook her head, a hollow laugh bubbling up from some broken place inside her. You want me to what? Kill him? Betray him like he betrayed me? I want you to do what's necessary to protect our family. To protect yourself. Edward's eyes bored into hers, a hypnotic pull she couldn't resist. Liam Novak destroyed your mother, Samantha. He destroyed us. Don't let him destroy you, too. The tears came then, hot and blinding, washing away the last of her resistance. The pain was a living thing, clawing at her insides, shredding her heart to ribbons. The man she loved, the man she would have given everything for, he had been using her all along. A bitter laugh escaped her, edged with hysteria, she had thought herself so clever, so in control. But she was just a puppet, dancing on strings she couldn't see. No more. Samantha lifted her head, fixing her father with a gaze hardened by resolve. What do you need me to do? Edward smiled, cold and serpentine. Meet with him as planned. Make him think you still trust him, still love him. And when the time is right... He pressed something cold and hard into her palm, closing her fingers around it. End it. Once and for all. The weight of the gun was familiar in her hand, a twisted comfort. How many times had she held a weapon like this, the cold steel a balm to the chaos in her mind? But this time, this time, it was different. This time, she would be aiming it at the heart of the man she loved. I'll do it, she whispered the words like ashes on her tongue. I'll end it. Edward nodded, something like pride flickering in his eyes. That's my girl. But as he melted back into the shadows, leaving her alone with her shattered illusions and the weight of her deadly promise, Samantha felt nothing but a yawning emptiness. She was a hollow shell, a broken doll, a woman with nothing left to lose. And Liam Novak? He would pay for that for everything. With a shuddering breath, Samantha tucked the gun into her purse, the cold metal a leaden weight against her hip. She had a mission now, a purpose. Even if it killed her, the sun was high in the sky as Samantha made her way through the tear garden, the dappled light filtering through the leaves overhead. The beauty of the park, with its lush greenery and burbling fountains, felt like a mockery of the turmoil raging inside her. How could the world keep turning, keep breathing, when everything she believed in lay shattered at her feet? The bridge loomed ahead, a delicate arch of stone spanning the glittering waters of the canal. And there, leaning against the railing, was Liam. Her heart stuttered in her chest, a painful lurch of recognition. Even now, after everything, the sight of him stole her breath. The strong line of his jaw, the way the sunlight played in his dark hair, the coiled power in his lean frame. He was achingly, devastatingly beautiful. And he was a lie. Samantha's fingers curled around the gun in her purse, the metal warm now from the heat of her body. One squeeze of the trigger, and it would all be over. The pain, the betrayal, the sick, twisted game they'd been playing for far too long. But even as her hand tightened on the weapon, 
she knew she couldn't do it. Not like this. Not without looking into his eyes, without hearing the truth from his own lips. She needed to know why. Why he had chosen her. Why he had built a life with her, only to rip it all away. She needed to know if any of it had been real. Drawing in a shaky breath, Samantha stepped onto the bridge, her heels clicking on the weathered stone. Liam turned at the sound, his blue eyes locking onto hers with an intensity that sent a shiver down her spine. Samantha. Her name fell from his lips like a prayer, like a benediction. As if the very sight of her was enough to wash away the sins of the past. But it wasn't. It couldn't be. I spoke to my father, she said, the words leaden on her tongue. He told me everything, Liam. About you, about the CIA, did I? About how you used me. Something flickered in his eyes, a shadow of regret, of pain. But he didn't deny it. Didn't offer any pretty lies or desperate explanations. He simply nodded, his shoulders sagging as if a great weight had settled upon them. I knew this day would come, he murmured, his voice rough with emotion. I knew eventually you would learn the truth. And I wouldn't blame you if you hated me for it. Samantha's throat tightened, hot tears pressing against the backs of her eyes. I want to hate you, she whispered. God, Liam, I want to hate you so much. But I... But you can't. He finished a thought for her, a sad smile tugging at the corner of his mouth. Just like I could never hate you, Samantha. No matter how much I tried. He took a step towards her, his hand lifting as if to touch her cheek. But he let it fall back to his side, his fingers curling into a fist. What I did. It was unforgivable. I know that. But you have to believe me when I say that what I felt for you, what I still feel. That was real. It was always real. A sob caught in Samantha's throat. A broken, wrenching sound. She wanted so desperately to believe him. To fling herself into his arms and let him chase away the darkness, the pain, the loneliness that had been her constant companion for so long. But she couldn't. Not now. Not when the truth lay shattered between them, sharp and cutting. I don't know what to believe anymore, she said, her voice small and lost. I don't know who you are, Liam. I'm not sure I ever did. He flinched as if she'd struck him, raw anguish etched into every line of his face. I'm the man who loves you, Samantha. The man who would do anything, give anything, to keep you safe. That's who I am. That's who I've always been. Samantha shook her head, a bitter laugh escaping her. Safe? You think any of this is safe? You lied to me, Liam. You used me. And now? Her hand dipped into her purse, fingers closing around the cold steel of the gun. Now my father wants me to kill you. Liam went very still, his eyes never leaving hers. Is that what you want, Samantha? To kill me? She stared at him, heart pounding, torn between love and duty, between the woman she had been and the woman she had become. In that moment, she felt the weight of her choices, the inescapable pull of fate that had brought them to this place, this reckoning. I... The word caught in her throat, choked by a rising tide of emotion. Slowly, inevitably, she drew the gun from her purse. It gleamed in the sunlight. A deadly promise. A final ending to their twisted fairy tale. Liam didn't flinch, didn't try to run. He simply watched her, those blue eyes filled with a resigned sadness that cut her to the core. Do it, he whispered. If it's what you need, Samantha. If it's the only way to set you free, then do it. I won't stop you. A single tear tracked down her cheek, hot and bitter. Her hand shook, the gun wavering in her grip. Every instinct screamed at her to pull the trigger, to end this once and for all. But in that moment, looking into the eyes of the man she loved, Samantha knew she couldn't do it. She couldn't kill him any more than she could cut out her own heart. Because despite everything, despite the lies and the betrayal and the shattered trust between them, she loved him. She would always love him. With a choked sob, Samantha lowered the gun. It clattered to the stone at her feet, 
a useless thing now. And then she was in his arms, her face buried against his chest as the tears came, hot and blinding. Liam held her as she wept, his hands stroking her hair, his heartbeat strong and steady beneath her cheek. I'm sorry, he murmured, over and over again. I'm so sorry, Samantha. For everything. She clung to him, fingers digging into his back, anchoring herself to the only true thing she had left in this world. I don't know how to do this, she whispered, her voice raw and ragged. I don't know how to forgive you, Liam. I don't know how to trust you again. He drew back, tipping her chin up with gentle fingers. His eyes were bright with unshed tears, his face a mask of vulnerability she'd never seen before. Then let me earn it, he said softly. Let me prove to you, every day, for the rest of our lives, that what we have is real. That it's worth fighting for. Samantha's heart swelled, a painful, perfect ache. It wouldn't be easy. The road ahead was dark and twisted, full of shadows and secrets yet to be revealed. But for the first time in a long, long time, she had hope. Hope for a future, for a love that could weather any storm, even the ones of their own making. Okay, she whispered, reaching up to brush a tear from his cheek. Okay, Liam, let's fight for it. Let's fight for us. He smiled then, a real smile, warm and true. And when he kissed her, it felt like a promise. A vow. In the days that followed, Samantha and Liam worked tirelessly to unravel the web of lies and deceit that had ensnared them both. They pored over classified documents, chased down leads in the shadowy underworld of arms dealers and spies, piecing together a puzzle that stretched back decades. And with each new revelation, each buried truth brought to light, Samantha felt the weight on her heart lift a little more. The betrayal still stung, a wound that might never fully heal. But with Liam by her side, his love a steady flame in the darkness, she found the strength to keep going. To keep fighting. For the future, they both wanted. The future they both deserved. But even as they grew closer, even as the trust between them slowly mended, Samantha knew there was one final reckoning yet to come. One last battle to be fought. Her father. Edward Ray had been a specter hanging over her life for as long as she could remember. A shadow that darkened every joy, every triumph. He had molded her into a weapon, a tool for his own ambition. And when she had dared to break free, to build a life of her own, he had torn it all down. No more. Samantha stood in front of the mirror, the black tactical gear, a second skin. She braided her hair with steady hands, the motions familiar, grounding. In the reflection, Liam appeared behind her, his eyes dark with concern. You don't have to do this, he said softly, resting his hands on her shoulders. We can find another way, Samantha. You don't have to face him alone. She leaned back into his touch, drawing strength from the solid warmth of him. Yes, I do, she replied, meeting his gaze in the mirror. He's my father, Liam Dot. My demon to slay. If I don't confront him, if I don't end this, I'll never be free. Liam sighed, pressing a kiss to her temple. Then I'm coming with you. Samantha started to protest, but he silenced her with a look. I let you walk away from me once, Samantha. I won't make that mistake again. Where you go, I go. No matter what. Tears pricked at her eyes, a lump rising in her throat. She turned in his arms, framing his face with her hands. I love you, she whispered fiercely. No matter what happens, Liam, I need you to know that. I will always love you. He kissed her then, deep and desperate, as if he could pour all the words unspoken, all the promises yet to be made, into that one perfect moment. I love you too, he breathed against her lips. Forever, Samantha Dot. Forever. They drew apart reluctantly, the weight of what lay ahead settling over them like a shroud. But as they made their way out into the night, hands clasped tightly, Samantha felt a new resolve take root in her heart. Come what may, they would face this together. And they would win. The sprawling mansion loomed before them, 
a hulking beast of stone and shadow. Samantha's childhood home, and the seat of her father's power. She had hoped never to set foot here again. Had prayed that she could leave the painful memories, the echoing loneliness of those long-ago years, behind her for good. But some ghosts, it seemed, refused to be laid to rest. They slipped through the darkened halls like wraiths, Liam's presence at her back a reassuring weight. He had the layout memorized, the security codes, the patrol routes of the guards. Advantages of his CIA training, he'd said with a wry smile. Samantha didn't care how he'd come by the knowledge. All that mattered was that it brought them closer to their goal. Closer to her father. They found him in his study, a cathedral of dark wood and leather. He sat behind the massive desk, a king upon his throne, a tumbler of amber liquid in his hand. He didn't look surprised to see them. If anything, he looked amused. Samantha, he greeted, swirling the liquor in his glass. I wondered when you'd come. And I see you've brought your loyal dog with you. His gaze flicked to Liam, lip curling with disdain. Samantha's hand tightened on her gun, anger a hot wave in her chest. It's over, father, she said, her voice steady despite the pounding of her heart. Your lies, your manipulations. It all ends tonight. Edward laughed, a harsh, brittle sound. Oh, my darling girl. So naive, even now. He set his glass down with a sharp click, leaning forward over the desk. You think you can stop me? You think you can dismantle an empire I've spent decades building? With Liam's help, I already have, Samantha replied coolly. The authorities have everything, father. Bank records, shipping manifests, names and dates and places. Enough to put you away for a hundred lifetimes. A muscle ticked in Edward's jaw, a vein pulsing at his temple. But his eyes remained cold, calculating. A minor setback, he dismissed with a wave of his hand. I have contingencies in place, Samantha. Allies in high places. I will rise from this, as I always have. Not this time. Samantha took a step forward, her gun unwavering. It's over, father. Give up. Come quietly. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. Edward stared at her for a long taut moment. Then, slowly, he smiled. A smile that chilled her to the bone. Oh, Samantha, he sighed. You still don't understand, do you? I will never give up. I will never stop fighting for what's mine. His hand moved a blur of speed and suddenly he was on his feet, his own gun leveled at her chest. Even if it means destroying you. Samantha's finger tightened on the trigger, her breathing shallow. This was it. The moment of truth. The final, inevitable clash between light and darkness, between the woman she had become and the monster who had made her. You won't do it, she said softly, certainty a calm center in the storm. You won't kill your own daughter. Edward's smile widened, a death's head grin. Won't I? His fingers squeezed and the world exploded. Samantha dove to the side, feeling the heat of the bullet as it whizzed past her cheek. She rolled, coming up in a crouch, her own gun barking in response. But Edward was already moving, a dark blur in the dimness. Liam cursed, returning fire, the acrid scent of gunpowder filling the air. They danced a deadly waltz, weaving between furniture, trading shots that shattered antiques and gouged holes in the walls. Samantha's heart raced, adrenaline singing in her veins. Every lesson, every hard-won skill, every ounce of determination and grit and sheer, stubborn will, it all coalesced in this moment. This fight. This reckoning. Edward was a formidable opponent, his own training evident in every precise movement, every ruthless counterstrike. But Samantha had youth and speed and raw, desperate emotion on her side. And she had Liam. They moved as one, anticipating each other's actions, covering each other's blind spots. A seamless unit, forged in the crucible of pain and love and unbreakable trust. Slowly, inch by hard-fought inch, they drove Edward back, cornered him, like the rabid beast he was.
until finally with a roar of fury he lunged at Samantha, a glinting blade in his hand. She twisted, but not fast enough. Fire scored along her ribs as the knife found its mark, a shallow slice that bled crimson. Liam shouted her name, his gun barking once, twice. Edward staggered, the knife clattering to the floor. His hand pressed to his chest, blood welling between his fingers. For a moment, the world held its breath. Father and daughter, locked in a frozen tableau. Then Edward crumpled, a marionette with its strings cut. He hit the floor hard, a grunt of pain escaping bloodied lips. Samantha stood over him, her gun trained on his heart. Tears streaked her face, grief and rage and a wild desperate love warring in her chest. This man, this monster, he had created her, shaped her, and in doing so, he had destroyed any chance for the life she might have had. The innocence, the joy, the simple, untainted happiness, all gone, all lost in the shadows of his ambition. It didn't have to be this way, she whispered, her voice cracking. You could have been a father to me. You could have loved me. Edward coughed, a wet, rattling sound. But his eyes, when they found hers, were clear, lucid, dight. I did love you, he rasped, in my own way. I wanted to make you strong, powerful, a grim, bloody smile. And I succeeded. Samantha shook her head, the tears coming faster now. No, that's done now. Love isn't about power or control. It's about acceptance. Sacrifice. Putting someone else's needs above your own. Her gaze found Liam's, a moment of perfect understanding passing between them. That's something you never understood. Edward followed her glance, his mouth twisting. He'll betray you, he wheezed. In the end, they all do. Mark, my words, Samantha. You're wrong. Samantha's voice rang with conviction. Liam and I, we're bound by something stronger than your games. Stronger than your lies. What we have, it's real. And it will endure. Edward stared at her, something like wonder passing over his face. Wonder, and perhaps a glimmer of pride. You've grown so strong, he murmured. So much like your mother. She would be proud. His eyes fluttered closed his chest stilling. Samantha watched, numb, as the life drained from him. The monster, the manipulator, the shadowy puppet master. He looked small in death, diminished, as if the force of his malevolence had been the only thing animating him, and without it, he was just a man. Just a man who had made all the wrong choices. Who had let his own darkness consume him? Liam's arms wrapped around her, pulling her back from the brink. She turned into his embrace, burying her face in his chest as the sobs came. Great, racking things that shook her to her core. He held her through the storm, his strength, his love, an anchor in the tumult. And when the last of the tears had been spent, when she could breathe again without feeling like her chest would crack in two, he was still there. Solid. Dotty yet real. Hers. They left the mansion hand in hand, stepping out into a world washed clean by the pale light of dawn. The authorities would come, the wheels of justice would turn. But for now, for now, they had each other. They had the promise of a future, hard won and precious. A future where the shadows of the past held no sway. Where love, true and tested, could flourish in the light. Samantha leaned into Liam, feeling the beat of his heart, strong and sure. What now? She asked softly, the question encompassing so much. The mission, the aftermath, the life they would build together. Liam smiled down at her, his eyes warm with promise. Now, he murmured, pressing a kiss to her temple. Now, my love, we live. And as the sun rose over the horizon, painting the world in shades of gold and pink and new beginnings. Samantha knew that they would. Together. Always.